All right, you've probably been wondering where I've been because I haven't uploaded for a while. Um, so I actually got ill for two weeks. I had a really bad flu. Still got it a bit now, but it's only three weeks till competition. Um, when I first got ill, I tried to train, uh, but it was really heavy deadlifts. Ended up like injuring my back without realizing just because I was so ill. My body was aching so much already. That I didn't really notice until I woke up the next morning that I couldn't touch my toes and I'd like hurt my SI joint a bit. But it's not too bad. Uh, I think it's kind of better now, just with a week off. Um, but it kind of sucks because it's put me back, you know, two weeks obviously. And now I'm having to get used to lifting heavy again. I can't just jump straight back in at 230 squats. So like today I have sets of two at 190, which is, you know, pretty low. And I've only got three weeks now to ramp it up. So I hope it doesn't affect the competition too much. Um, I was planning to upload about two weeks ago until I got ill. But the first like five, six weeks of this block were just like volume, so sets of 10, sets of eight, reasonably heavy. Um, but I can do a little recap now actually, because I film most stuff on my phone. So here's a recap. All right, I'm just watching back through all the footage um, that I mentioned. It's actually not gonna be that quick of an update because I filmed a lot more than I expected. So I'm gonna start off uh, right at the end of the last block. So I had a week or so with nothing, so I could just do whatever I wanted for fun uh, in that time. So I did a uh, slingshot bench max out, ended up getting uh, 180, which was pretty good. So at the top, I feel the full weight of that. Uh, pretty heavy, managed to get it, so I was happy with that. Um, next up, I did a front squat. So my old front squat max was 175. So I thought I'd beat that easy with all this squatting. Here's 160, fairly easy. Uh, then I jumped to 180. Um, and failed, which was weird. I thought all of the back squat gains, like 50 kilos added to my back squat, almost would have transferred to front squat, but apparently it doesn't. Um, maxed out shoulder press, uh, 92.5. I always wanted to get 100, which I might try at the end of uh, when I'm when I'm done with the whole competition. Uh, and then a high bar squat here. This is 200 for a set of three. Um, oh no, it's 205 for a set of three. Yeah, my bar weighs 25, not 20, because it's a squat bar. So if you add up the plates, um, people always think I'm lifting 200 instead of 205. Anyway, this is the start of the third block. So <coughs> basically, each week was a high bar, big set. Next session was a low bar set. And then the next session was uh, a couple of singles on low bar. So some one reps that were a bit heavier. So this is the high bar big set, set of 10 at 165. Um, I always did this in the normal gym because I had to do some accessories there. Uh, this is pure gym where I live. Um, so yeah, pretty standard. That went up by like 10 kilos each week. So, you know, the next week I was doing like 175 for a set of eight or something. Um, I didn't film a lot there though because I don't really like filming there. Uh, this is then two days later, the low bar session where it's like normal sets and reps, I suppose. Um, Fairly easy, what's that, like 190 or something? Yeah. Um, and then the last session was 215. I think the first week I actually, no, not 215, I think 210, yeah. I actually did this at my friend's house uh, on a really dodgy bar uh, and the bearings just wouldn't rotate. Um, so yeah, proper sketchy setup, but managed it fine. Uh, yeah, the next, next week, <coughs> five by five at 200. I tried this like a year ago and it was it's insanely hard. Um, but this time I managed to do it fairly comfortably, so uh, yeah, really good strength gains here. Then I guess it's the singles session, yeah, so five sets of one at 215. Fairly solid, but I'd expect that given that my one rep max at that point is 250. Next week, wait, no, this is the same session, it's just this, another set of it. Um, yeah, three sets of five at 210. So going from 200 to five the next week to 210 to five. Wasn't sure I'd be able to get this, but um, surprised myself and, and got it, which was really good. Yeah, this was hard. Yeah, three sets of that was nasty. Uh, back in Pure Gym here. This was a funny session. If you can look at the bar, I know the quality's bad because uh, it was not filmed on my phone, but the bar is just so whippy, but this was like 215 for a set of three sets of three or something. Um, again, I needed to do accessories at the normal gym. This was a funny session actually, um, which I'll talk about later on the bench. 
I'm kind of going to do this in squat, bench, then deadlift. So uh, three sets of five at 215. So another five kilos from the week before. Did I actually do this? Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, I was pretty happy with that, I suppose. I can barely remember these. They're so long ago now. But damn, yeah, five rep in two fifteen. That looked fairly easy as well. I'm pretty sure it didn't feel easy, but ah, okay. The next week, I actually wear wore heels here for the first time just to see what it was like, uh, and it actually felt kind of powerful, kind of easier. Like I had a better platform to push off. Um, so to check if I was right, I did the next set in flats, which I'll show here. Um, and if you put them side by side, the one in heels definitely looks easier. Uh, and it felt easier. Um, so from this point on, I swapped all my low bar sessions to be in heels. And I'm going to wear heels in comp. Um, I hope as I get to one rep maxes, it still feels easier. And there's not something I'm, I'm not thinking about. Um, but yeah, high bar session again, this is weeks later, so obviously instead of doing 10 reps, it's now 3 reps, but a 210. So this was a high bar PB. If you remember at the start of the video before the block, I did 205 for a set of 3 in my gym. And here's 210 for a set of 3, which was significantly easier. And I did 2 sets of it, so I was pretty happy with that. That floor is really spongy as well, so it's pretty horrible to squat on. But managed it fine. It looks a bit weird doing this kind of weight in pure gym, but there we go. Okay, this is after I got ill, I think. So this was just to ease myself back in. Um, so from that point, I had two weeks off from the flu. Uh, almost two weeks, anyway. And this is the same day, so I did three at 180, three at 190. And I was supposed to do three at 200, but my back really hurt, so I did three at 190 again for a third set. Um, and I'll talk about what I did to my back in the deadlift section. Anyway, on to bench. So week one, nice and easy, four sets of 10 at 100. These moved super fast, as you can see. Um, I always used to think 100 for 10 is like a big big number, big weight. Uh, <clears throat> but now it's pretty, pretty easy, which is good. The next week, upped it by 10 kilos. Pretty boring watching these longer sets, but I'll leave it running. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I filmed all the sessions, but this so this might be two weeks later, maybe one week later, five by five at 120. Um, you'll notice I've moved my grip out. So I actually did some testing, having my normal grip and then moving out. Um, and it seemed to be easier with a wider grip, which I guess you'd expect, um, just less range of motion. Um, I was going max width, but yeah, it started to really hurt my hand on one side. Uh, that's because I've had surgery on it, so I moved in a little bit, so I'm now doing middle finger on the powerlifting ring. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. A set of 8 at 120. Um, on a good day, I could probably get a set of 10 at 120, which would be a nice PB. Obviously, all the gym bros do 10 reps on everything, so 120 is a big number to do that with. At least I think so, anyway. Yeah, this is that session again, so... <laughs> What actually happened was, after this set, uh, one of the PTs came over and said he was going to ban us if I had another spot. So this is my friend who I went to the gym with, but because of COVID, not allowed to spot. So he, he said, we're going to get banned. So I had to leave, go home and finish the session. So this is after I've driven home, cooled down, had, had a short warm up again, but this set, obviously not very good. But yeah, uh, they wanted to ban us for spotting uh, and there's no safeties on that rack or anything. So it's just a completely stupid situation. Um, anyway, week later, five sets of six, 127. I think the week after I moved this up to 130, we'll see. Oh no, this is close grip, yeah. So just to talk about my actual bench training, it was normally like competition bench, two days later, close grip bench, two days later, competition bench. Um, so this is one of the close grip days. I didn't film many of them, but they were happening every week. Um, I haven't filmed many, if, if at all, any accessories, um, but those were happening as well. Uh, a lot of accessories were happening. Three sets of five, 140, wider grip. I think I did this right at the end of the last block. Um, 
so it's good to do it midway through this block and then the next week five kilos later I actually hit the safety there which sucked um, so I put them down one on the, the sets after this but I still managed it just fine but it was a struggle but yeah it's a big PB 145 for five this is me just testing openers I think 150 and then 155 I think this is after I was ill so I was quite fresh and I was like wanted to do something because I'd had a week off so I just went in the garage and just worked up to one rep just to figure out what my opener might be oh and then a couple of days later I tried 150 for three reps because there was a little competition going on online um, for like a three rep max bench so this is the one I uploaded I didn't win in the bench it was also a deadlift one which I came second in I got like a hundred quid for coming second which is pretty good okay deadlifts right at the start of the block ten sets of three a lot of sets um, if you look at this, I use the wider stance, so my back right here at the, is uh, more upright and then I tested it with my normal width and my back is like more angled and I normally fail at lockout so I've now switched to have a wider stance so my back is starting a bit more upright and that seems to help. Um, so yeah next week 8 sets of 3 at 240, uh, at that weight it's just a lot of sets, by set 5 you just want to be done but managed to grind through. Also, if you notice my grip, it's now a little bit narrower, so I was hook gripping on the smooth. I later changed that, and you'll see why. Uh, this is one of the accessories. I don't show all the reps, but uh, almost every week I had like <coughs> sets of RDLs, deficit like that, sets of 10. Yeah, here, still hook gripping, 252, sets of 3. I only deadlift, main deadlift day once a week, and then that deficit RDL was uh, like on another day as accessories. Here's another set of it at 180. Uh, so a set of 10 at 180. I don't show all the reps, but shirt off as well. You can see the gains. Okay, so this session, hook gripping still. Supposed to be three reps, but my grip fails on the third rep. It just starts to slip through here, you'll see. And yeah, grip failed, a small rip. Um, so I tried it again, mix grip, right after. So this is mix grip, and as you can see like the free reps are pretty solid and I didn't feel like my grip was ever gonna fail on this so at that point I was like okay I'm just gonna mix grip because it's easier hook grips just too risky um, if I rip it on my first attempt at competition then it's over okay this is the day I was at my peak illness so I got injured this day so set of five at 260 I had the flu and my body was already like aching all over and at some point in this set or maybe the set after something just went in my back or my back tightened up and I didn't even notice because I was just so feeling so run down anyway um, when I woke up the next morning couldn't put my socks on then I'd realized I'd mess something up um, so yeah the same day 270 for a set of three couldn't even get two properly um, but at least my grip held up but yeah at that point I was just like now nah, something's wrong I just feel shit so I ended the session there and now this is a week after um, having been off with the illness and this is very light just to get back into things three sets of two um, just in case my back was injured which luckily I don't think it is it was just tight but anyway that's it for a recap so yeah that was longer than I wanted it to be <coughs> but let's continue the video right from the start where I left off um, this is about a week ago now and it's three weeks to comp um, so yeah see how it goes all right back to today high bar 190 sets of two it's probably about 30 kilos under where I should be now um, but there's nothing I can do about it except try my best to the competition so let's put some epic metal on and do it Alright, time to bench. This was supposed to be with dumbbells, 55 kilos each hand. But 
I have to go to normal gym for that and I still have a bit of a cough so I don't want to infect anyone uh, or get something else myself so I'm just going to do it in here on normal bench and try and make it work but yeah considering two weeks off and feeling awful uh, I've retained a fair bit of my strength at least it feels that way um, so I just need to dial it back in at the higher weights and hopefully I haven't lost too much Okay, three weeks and two days to go to a competition. Um, bench today, 140 for sets of five, I think. Uh, which should be right. I've done 150 for a set of three. 140 for a set of five is probably a little bit easier than that. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Not squatting for a week. Yesterday doing uh, 190 for sets of two, four sets of two. Normally I wouldn't feel that at all. The next day I'd be completely fresh. I can actually feel like a bit of aching in my legs. That's just from well, a week and a half, two weeks off. So it's amazing how quickly your body is not used to it. Um, but hopefully I can get back used to it quickly. Uh, with only two weeks to go. This week's kind of easy. It's like <coughs> three exercises per day, low amount of sets. Um, I don't know if that's to try and get rid of fatigue for the next two weeks up to comp so that I'm really fresh. Um, that would be the normal plan, but I should be really fatigued before I do that. And I'm not because I had to have the time off from being ill. So the timing's all a bit screwed. Um, yeah, I just hope it doesn't make too big a difference for competition. Uh, if I don't get the records I want, I'll try again next year. But um, I'm going to give it my best shot. Two weeks to go, got to make it count. <laughs> Pretty good, but I forgot to chalk my hands, so it's a bit slippery. I'll chalk them for the next set. Two more sets of that. Um, five kilos off my best five rep. Bit's pretty easy, so it's a good sign. I don't think the illness has affected bench too much. Mostly squat and deadlift, which are where the big numbers come from, so yeah. But bench is uh, going well. <sighs> All right, just done some rows and rear delt flies. Just planks to go, and then I'm done for today. I think next session is a deadlift. Um, moderately heavy, not too heavy because of the back. Um, so it's 250. And then yeah, we're going for a big squat PB, triple at 230. So that will be a 10 kilogram PB if I get it. I'll do that at the weekend, so in like four days time. Um, but yeah, I'll do these planks and finish up for today. And finish this video, I'll post again end of the week to see how the squat goes.